Oh my gosh, what? For your information, I don't post to... I don't post pictures of my chest, okay? <laughs> it was just a joke. Let it die. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Hoodlamut here, back with some more Steins Gate. And uh, last time, we were just trucking on through the... Uh, the, the, the route to the true ending. And we got some nice little uh, karatsu scenes along the way that were very wholesome and nice. And I liked them. And it was, a, it was a good time. And I'm hoping that they will explain more about stuff that didn't that we didn't get filled in on on the original route that I took. Um, got a couple achievements along the way too, but those are neither here nor there. Uh, now we are in chapter, I believe, 6. And uh, this is uh, getting to where... I think we will start probably getting a little more streamlined uh, as far as trying to get this true ending. There's a lot of stuff we, a lot, a lot of choices we could have made in the beginning, but as we approach the uh, the end uh, of the or end of the game, I suppose, um, I think there are less choices to be made. Um, yeah, even just looking at it, there's there's a couple, but for the most part, I think it's pretty uh pretty pretty straightforward for the most part so okay here we go let's uh get into this episode oh okay so from here did it work okay so we can get different scenes depending on what we do here maybe i shouldn't i don't know yeah i'm just gonna do what i did last time okay so last time i didn't do anything so we'll keep yeah, we'll just keep that up. We'll just keep doing everything the same way. Oh, okay, so this is new. So this is something we didn't get before, okay? So this is after she gives us a kick in the pants, right? Okay, so then she follows it up with... Mayuri's my friend. And a fellow lab mem. And besides, I don't want to see you in such pain. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Remember when I told you about my father? You really helped me out back then. Now it's my turn to return the favor. I want to be your strength. Besides, you still have to come with me to Al Almori. She smiles a wry but gentle smile, as if I were her mischievous younger brother. I know you're going to leap no matter what I say. You are a mad scientist, after all, and mad scientists play by their own rules. <laughs> hey, aren't you supposed to go mwahahaha or something? Yeah. Why do I even try? Kuretsu is right. I'll do anything to save Mayuri. Kuretsu stands up and looks at her watch. There's not much time. I think you should have a clear plan before tr trying to change the future again. Meaning? Leap to an even earlier time. Then explain the situation to me again. Kuretsu's right. My actions so far have gotten almost in have been almost entirely random. And look where that's gotten me. I need a real plan if I'm going to save Mayuri. Let's go! Kuretsu stretches out her hand. Aw, oh, this is this seems a lot sweeter than the than the first time around. I grasp it and pull myself up. I don't think she was this happy the first time. Maybe she was. Okay, so this is this is all the same, I think. Yeah. Right. I wonder if her phone's on. Um So this is where we could call Suzaha, I guess. Maybe I should just try calling her. I think I didn't do this. Come to think of it, this reminds me of something. So we'll just keep going as though I didn't do this. 
Okay, I wonder how the other lab mems are progressing. I didn't do this, I did the Suzaha route, so for now we'll just keep it that way. Save Mayuri, that is my purpose. Right, and then that, that puts us into the next thing, right? Yeah, okay. So that sends us into chapter 7. I'm gonna go back really quick and just see what those extra scenes were just for funsies. I just want to see what those were real quick. Okay, so we're back here again. So we apparently can call Mayuri. So let's call Mayuri. Mayushi here. Mayuri! Where are... But I can't answer the phone right now. It went to voicemail? Please leave your message after the beep. Mayuri! Contact me at once! Okay? At once! I hang up. I look at my watch again. It's just past five. Thank God for the time leap machine. It makes me shiver to imagine what would have happened without it. I have three hours until Moika kills Mayuri. Everything's going to be okay. That's plenty of time to escape. First, I'll meet up with Mayuri and leave Akaba. We can go to Ikebukuro. Wait, what if they were watching her house? Maybe we should hop on a bullet train and get out of Tokyo entirely. Anyway, we're fine as long as Moika doesn't find her today. So first, I need to find Mayuri. Okabe, you look kind of crazy. What's wrong? Karitsu and Daru look at me with concern. Is this all stuff that I've seen? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, so that just expedited that little extra scene. So we'll go past this. Okay. So, let's call Lukaku. Hello, this is Urushibara. Lukaku, it's me, Okabe. Okabe-san? What's wrong? Is Mayuri there? If she is, let me speak to her. Uh, okay. Just a moment, please. Ta -da -da. Mayushi here. What's up, Okarin? Finally. I've managed to get a hold of Mayuri. This will give us hours to spare. Where are you now? Yanabayashi Shrine? Oh, so this is where... Okay, so when we couldn't figure out where she was... This just helped us be able to find her, remember? Because we were like, oh, how are we going to know when she was there and all that? Yeah, okay, so this is what we could have done instead. I didn't even think of calling Luca, but I also didn't know I could just access my phone like this, too. And at the specific time that it was saying that I could, so. Yep. I'm headed there now. Whatever you do, don't move, okay? Huh? Why not? What's all the commotion? Karitsu's eyes are half asleep. Daru, assistant, leave right now and get as far from Akaba as you can. But under no circumstances, use the train. Okay, so now we told them in person rather than over the phone. What? Why? If you can, go somewhere you don't normally go and stay there overnight. Understand? Wait, overnight? So you're saying we should go to a love hotel and make hanky-panky? I understand. Shut it, perv. Kuritsu gets up. What's going on, Okabe? Please, just do as I say. We'll talk later. Don't come back to the lab until I say so. I thought of having them take the time leap machine but the microwave's pretty heavy to carry around. And it's that time machine that Moika's really after, not Mayuri. If it will guarantee everyone's safety, I'd rather just abandon the, the time machine. I dash out of the lab, 
disregarding Kuretsu's and Daru's demands for an explanation. Okay, so we just... That, that just let us be able to tell them in person, basically. Uh, but yeah, and then, then we borrow Suzuha's bicycle to get there, and Meiri isn't here, I'm assuming, right? But also, um, the idea that it's like, well, I don't care about them taking the time machine, that's that's kind of scary, I don't know. It would have been better to just say, let's smash the machine if you were gonna... If you were gonna go that route, but anyway. I was right to borrow Suzuha's bicycle. I arrived at the shrine far earlier than I had uh, run. If I, then if I had run. Oh, yep, here she is, okay. Mayuri and Lukako are in front of the main building. I don't think she was here the first time, was she? Mayuri! Okari! Oh, Mayuri waves her hand happily. Lukako bows her head. Are you here to back me up? Back you up? To help convince Luka-chan to wear my costume. Mayuri-chan, I really can't. It's too embarrassing. Hey, Okari, can you think of some way to persuade Luka-chan? Mayushi can't reach the ending for the Luka-chan route. Nice little fourth wall break. I keep telling her I can't, but Mayuri-chan just won't give up. Tears well up in my eyes. I grip my teeth and resist the urge to cry. To see them talking, so happy and carefree. I thought that this peace would last forever. And yet... I'm sorry, you two. Save the cosplay talk for later. I grab Mayuri's hand. Drop your bags, Mayuri. Leave them with Lukako. Huh? What's going on? We're leaving town. Leaving town? We're going on a trip? A... trip? Lukako's face turns red. Just the two of you? That's right. I'll let Lukako misunderstand whatever she wants. I take off running, half dragging Mayuri along. Okay, and then this is where we get on the 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 the, the car, right? Let's see. Let's, this is where we get in the car. We get out to Mensebashi Bridge. Now I need to figure out where we go from here. It's half past four. We should still have about three hours before the train stops. Uh, if we wanted to, we could even take the Akaba station. But that seems like a bad idea. Moeka and her men might already be there. We should board from another station. If the plan is to head for Yokohama, the fastest way is to take the bullet train from Tokyo Station. Oh yeah, no, this is the train accident. Okay. To get to Tokyo Station without passing through Akihabara Station means boarding at Kanda or Awajicho. We could walk to Tokyo Station in an hour, but I don't want to waste that much time. Where are we going, Okarin? What's the rush? CERN's after us. Huh? What does that mean? I'll explain later. First, we need to get out of Akaba. Uh, okay. I decide on Awajicho Station and start running. If we can make it to uh, Yasakunidori, the station's right there. But I freeze when I see a group of six men walking just ahead. Are they Moika's men? I don't know, but we can't take the chance. I pull Mayeri into a nearby alley. How many men does CERN have? When did these patrols start? Are they watching stations besides Akihabara? I have no way of knowing. To make matters worse, CERN's assassins are indistinguishable from ordinary shoppers at a glance. You, can't, uh, you can tell they're different when you get close, but by then it's too late. They could be anyone. Japanese, foreigners, anyone. Darn! What should we do? Should we take the shortest route and risk being seen? 
Or should we stick to the back streets and stay out of sight? Oh, Karin. Mayushi's kind of scared. The fear on Mayushi's face gives me my answer. I can't expose her to danger. We have to take the back roads. It doesn't have to be uh, Awajicho. Any subway station is fine. As long as we can get out of Akaba. Staying out of sight is more difficult than I expected. And the subway is farther away than I thought. I misjudged the distance to the station. So we still wasted the time. Either we spent the time looking for Mayeti, or we we ended up not being able to get right directly to the station we needed to. So, interesting. Maybe we should double back to uh, Suehirocho Station. Or would that take us too close to the lab? There's no way of knowing where CERN's men could be. HIDE! I pull Mietti into the entrance of a nearby building. Several young men pass by. They're not particularly fit, and each of them is carrying a bag full of computer parts. I don't think they're the enemy, but I can't be sure. The only way to be safe is to treat every group of men as a potential threat. At this rate, it'll be night before we escape Akaba. Maybe we should just go for it and hope to get lucky. I look up the closest station with my phone. Ochinomizu and Suahirocho are about equidistant from our current position. Uh, Suahirocho <laughs> takes us near the lab, but Ochinomizu is on the same line as Akehibara. It might be affected by the bomb threat. An impasse. Meiri. Stay right here. Don't move until I get back. Where are you going? To the station to make sure it's safe. And while I'm at it, scout the streets between here and there. We'll need to use the shortest route. Mayushi doesn't want to be left alone. I'll be right back. If I'm not back in 30 minutes, call someone. Karitsu or Suzuha. Have them get you out of Akaba. Don't say that! Come back, okay? If you don't, Mayushi won't know what to do. Okay. I'll come back, I promise. I leave Mayuri behind and run to Ochonomizu Station. Okay, so this is different. I think. Wary of surrounding eyes, I scout the streets and decide that the back alleys of Kanda Myojin will give us the best chance of avoiding detection. Once we make it to the station, we'll just have to pray. I race back to the spot I left Mayuri. Mayuri? She's not there. For an instant, I think I got the place mixed up, so I check the entrance of the next building. But Mayuri isn't there either. She's gone. I TOLD HER NOT TO MOVE! At first, I assumed Mayuri just wandered off somewhere, like she often does. But then another possibility dawns on me. Could Cern's men have found her? Abducted her? Would they do that? Moika said that Mayuri was unnecessary. That's why she killed Mayuri first. So why would they kidnap her? I don't know. The only thing I know is that Mayuri's gone. I knew I shouldn't have left her alone. I should have stayed by her side no matter what. Still, I can't give up. I scour the neighborhood for Mayuri. But when I fail to find any trace of her, I return to the lab in despair. Oh! Oh, what?! Oh, what the heck? This is new. We need to talk. Heading over now, okay? Yo. It's a mail from Moika. She's on her way here? When she says we need to talk, she probably means I'm going to kidnap you and take the time leap machine. Just as I'm about to delete the mail out of frustration, I notice there's an image attached. 
Oh no! I swallow and open it. It's a scan of a foreign newspaper article. There's a rough black and white picture along with the date. February 28th, 1961. 50 years ago. It's not in English. I look at the picture. A jelly man. The picture is of a jelly man embedded in the wall of a house. Wait. Oh my gosh, what? Yo! I remember this. They, I think they showed this in the, the intro, like in the opening. But I didn't know what this meant, and I couldn't tell if she was a jelly man, but it, it, it dawned in my head. But I thought, nah, nah, that was just a different... Oh my gosh. This is what happens when we don't take her to the train. They take her and send her into a wall. Are you kidding me? That's so screwed up, bro. Why would you do that? I figured they'd want her as a hostage, not like... Oh my gosh. Mayuri. Ah! Oh my gosh, dude. So they just sent her back? What is what? That's all they did. They just sent they just sent her back just just to do that? Are you kidding me? So so they kidnapped her, took her, sent her back, didn't keep her as a hostage, just sent her back to kill her and then said we need to talk. Like that would work anyway. Well, I guess we'll never know because he already time leapt, but what the heck, dude? Imagine. Imagine if I would have gotten that one first. Oh, man, that would have freaked me out, dude. I would have been flipping my lid. Because I know that she dies, so it's a little less, like, you know, impactful, maybe. But still, seeing that image, it's so scary looking. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a screeching fills my ears. Needles stab into my brain. The shock lasts an instant, then the pain is gone. A wave of nausea hits me. Vomit backflows into my mouth. I swallow it back. My throat burns. I leapt immediately after seeing the photo. I couldn't accept it. Not even for a second. In the 20 minutes I took my eyes off of Meiri, she was captured by Moika's men. They took her to France and stuck her in the LHC. Why? And also, how did they do that so fast? They sent her through their unstable black hole 50 years into the past. It wasn't an experiment. It was just a warning. A threat. How could anyone do such a thing? Now that I've recovered slightly from the shock, I realize that Mayuri was probably still alive when Moika sent me that picture. A flight to France takes at least 12 hours after all. Oh, right, because it was a clipping from that time. So it was just because they were going to do that, that, that it would have created it in, in the papers. Oh, man. Even so, her fate was already decided. Perhaps that 50-year-old newspaper article appeared out of thin air the instant they found her. I don't know why her cause of death changed. I don't have time to investigate. The only choice is to run. Our enemies don't consider Meiri human. I'm filled with rage. I want to kill them. 
I won't let them have her. The clock shows 5.05 p.m. Not as much time left as I thought. Come to think of it, the time leap machine should be able to send me back to noon at least. I'll do that next time. A chill runs up my spine. What am I thinking? Next time? Have I already given up on saving her this time? I shake my head to clear it of negative thoughts. Judging by the time, Mayuri's already left the shrine. So I can't contact her until she gets back to the lab. All I can do is wait. As before, the Braun tube workshop closes early. Mayuri appears as Suzaha and Mr. Braun are leaving. We run through Kanda Myojin's back streets to Ochanomizu Station, taking only minimal precautions to avoid attracting attention. We have to get there before the Sobu line shuts down. We manage to make it to the station without being stopped. But when we get there, I see a group of men waiting by the entrance. They look like CERN. Change of plans. We turn around and head for the uh, Shin Ochanomizu subway station. Right, so she still gets pushed. Wait, so the car thing did happen first then, right? Didn't it? Or was that just extra? Was that just an extra thing that happened? Yo. Okay. All right. All right. So this is all going to be the same. Yep, she's going to get shoved. Yep, and then she'll be the one that's there. Okay. Wow, I thought that was in place of the train. No, it was in place of the car, I think. Or it was just an extra scene, one of the two. Nope, this is the car. Yep, it was just an extra scene. They just gave us an extra scene. Interesting. I wonder if her phone's on. Did I try calling Suzaha first? I guess I'll do that since I'm just trying this now. Uh, Part-time warrior. <laughs> Suzaha! I need to talk to you! I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What? All because I acted like a spoiled child. This time, I'm going. Bye. Hey! Suzuha! Wait! It's happening again. She's going to disappear. Last time, I lost sight of her near the station. Right, okay, so that was just a little extra, maybe, just to... Okay, so it was just an option that we could have done. Search up and down Chiridori. No sign of a bike. Yeah. And then, the, yep, there she is. She still gets buzzed. Or, I burned, whatever. Yeah, right here. How, how are the other ones progressing? Okay, and then we can call any one of them, I believe. We can call either Kiritsu, Daru, or Meyushi. Meyuri. And, um... And we'll get a little scene with them. So let's... Let's call... We'll call Kiritsu. Hello? Assistant? It's me. Oh, I think you got the wrong number. What are you saying? It's me, Hawowen Kiyoma. My name isn't Assistant, and your name isn't Hawowen Kiyoma. Would you prefer to be called Kitty Gohan and Kamehameha? <laughs> Yay, he threw that back at her. What? I hear rattling from the other side of the phone. <laughs> How do you know about that? Before I time leapt, you made a tearful confession. You said, I'm an at channeler, a Nico junkie, and a cam hooker who posts. Da -da -da. But will you still accept me as your assistant? <laughs> And I, of course, replied. You may be an at channeler, a Nico junkie, and a cam hooker who posts, da -da -da. but you're still a member of this lab. 
and that makes you my assistant, now and forever. So wipe your tears, for there is still much. I'm gonna post your personal info all over VIP if you don't shut your mouth right this second! <laughs> How are things there? <laughs> Fine. You called at the right time. We need to talk. Just like that, we're back to normal conversation. I'll be right there. Okay. I'll be waiting. I take Suzuha back to the lab. Okay, alright, alright. Kuritsu greets us with a cold stare when we return to the lab. For your information, I don't post... to... I don't post pictures of my chest, okay? <laughs> it was just a joke. Let it die. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Kiri Gohan and Kamehameha. So you're the one who kept picking fights with me on the internet. Makes sense. I thought you wanted an open discussion. Sure. You were kind of annoying, though. Are these two still fighting? By the way, it may shock you to learn that I am the poster known as Hawawin Kyo- I know! <laughs> the same reaction again? Why do they only agree when it's at my expense? I clear my throat and change the subject. <clears throat> so? What did you want to talk about? The time leap machine? I think you probably forgot. So, I wanted to make sure just in case. Have you been looking for the lifter? You haven't, have you? Oh. Right. We hadn't discovered what it was at this point in time. I already know. It's the 42-inch CRT downstairs. R Really? What's your proof? I've been here before, remember? I see. Sorry for sticking you with this job. What? Don't apologize. It's creepy. I know you're not a fan of time travel research, but here you are building a time machine. I was just worried that maybe you were feeling conflicted. How rude. Karitsu scowls. I'm sure I've said this before, but I've always accepted time travel as a theory. I just don't trust people who claim it can be done despite how unrealistic it is. She sighs, then looks me over from head to toe. Besides, I can hardly deny it with evidence staring me in the face. Though I still don't like the idea of being called the mother of the time machine. Suzoha shrugs at this. Anyway, if you're apologizing, that must mean you helped out the first time. First time? Before you started time leaping, you helped me build the machine, didn't you? Yeah, Daru and I helped. Then don't worry about it. I wouldn't want you to have to do it all over again. And right now, it's more important to repair Amine-san's time machine and search for her father. Sorry. Don't you apologize now! It's weird! <laughs> well, back to work. I should be able to get a lot done now that I know about the lifter. Kuritsu waves and vanishes into the development room. I'd better not disturb her. The time limit is approaching. What else can I do?
Interesting. Okay. It's early evening and... Okay, yeah. And so this is all going to be the same. Right, 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 right. Okay. So I guess we can do one with Daru and Mayuri too. So maybe I'll try and go back and do that. I should have saved. I didn't think to save right then. I should have saved. Yeah, all right. And then... All right, so we're back here again. Now we can call... Oh, wait a minute. I almost screwed this up. Let's save real quick. Uh, let's call Mayuri. And we'll call Daru because who cares about Daru? Mayushi here. Where are you now? Um, in front of the station. Let's meet up. Stay right there. Okay. Suzuha and I head to the station. Okay. When we get there, I hear Mayuri's voice. Please take one. We need your help. What is she doing? There's been a kidnapping. The kidnapper was wearing this pin. Please help us find him. Why is Mayuri passing out leaflets? When I call out to her, Mayuri smiles and wipes the sweat off her brow with a handkerchief. Okarin! Suzu-san! Um, there's something I've been meaning to ask. Yeah? The barrel in Suzuha's dad's name? What does it mean? Uh... It's just a name. It probably doesn't mean anything. But it's not his real name, right? Right. It's a code name. So why does he choose Barrel Titter? And why did you choose John, Suzu-san? Because John's the most common English name. But Barrel isn't common. Now that you mention it. So she's saying there must be a meaning behind the code name? Is that what her leaflets are about? I take a look. Oh. <laughs> ah, look at that. That's cute. Bring a kidnapper to justice. <laughs> the evildoer wears this pin. He could be your neighbor. <laughs> he could be... What does that say? He could be something next to you right now. Oh, he could be standing next to you right now. If you have any information, please contact the address below. <laughs> May you power. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's funny. I like that. <laughs> bring, bring a kidnapper sick to justice. What the heck is sick? <laughs> the evildoer... Oh, I didn't realize it says it down here. The evildoer wears this pin. He could be your neighbor. He could be standing right uh, next to you right now. If you have any information, please... Okay. It's all written in colored marker with cute drawings and a photo of Suzuha's pin attached. I've got to say, Mayeri's childish handwriting really brings it all together. <laughs> well, what do you think? I think it's a masterpiece. What's this kidnapping stuff about? It was my idea. I'm sure it'll make everyone want to help. Mayuri grins triumphantly. It's a good strategy, don't you think? Um, the operation name is Mayushi's Awesome Leaflet Plan. <laughs> um, isn't this going a little too far? Yeah. What happens if the police hear about... You three. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> My heart freezes as if sprayed with liquid nitrogen. I slowly turn around. A stern-faced policeman is standing there with crossed arms. <laughs> Speak of the devil! What are these leaflets about? Let's talk at the station. Eh? I consider making a run for it, but that will just make things worse. 
I grab Suzuha's arm before she can do anything rash. Better just to bite the bullet and go along. After about an hour of interrogation, they release us without charges. Karitsu greets the three of us when we return to the lab dead tired. Hey, Okabe, remember the lifter? I don't suppose you figured out what it is. No, of course you haven't. Oh, right. We hadn't discussed the lifter at this point in time. I already know. It's the 42-inch CRT downstairs, so either way we have to tell her. R really What's your proof? I've been here before, remember? Oh, right. The CRT. I see. Kuritsu heads back to the into the development room, nodding to herself. I'm sorry, guys. I made things worse. I give Mayuri some chicken to cheer her up. <laughs> There's not much time left. What else can we do before the time limit? How did they explain that to the cop, though? <laughs> Wouldn't they have had to have said something to him? Anyway, uh, alright, now we'll check out Daru's. Hoi hoi. It's me. Report. You know, it's distracting as heck when you talk like that. Enough about you. Report the status of the repairs. <laughs> I'm turning into a prune here. Uh, hey, at least give me some reaction. Anyway, I think I figured out what it needs. Really? Pretty much. Should I bring reinforcements? Mm, yeah, I guess. Bring Amaneshi with you if you can. Alone in the heat of the vacant Radicon rooftop, the two of us can forget our shame and take off our clothes. Uh, uh. I hope we find your dried up bones. <laughs> Gonna have to disappoint you there. How about you? Did you find out anything about the pin? No. It's an uphill battle. Not even a clue? No. Dang. That sucks. I'm going to hit up a few more places. I'll head over there in the evening. That gives me two more hours today to search for the pin. If that fails, Tomorrow morning will be our last chance. These two extra days have gone by faster than expected. Okay, so that was just a phone call. Okay, cool. I guess we'll move on then. Uh, there does seem to actually be quite a few things in Chapter 7, but after Chapter 7, there's only like a couple per chapter, so I guess we'll just wait for an email at the moment. All right, got mail, assistant. Ah, yep, okay, this is it. This is the first one. So, uh, the key. Um, there's nobody at the lab. I don't have a key, so I can't get in. Where are you, when are you coming over? I just assumed you'd be here, like usual. It kind of feels like I'm visiting your home. Uh, not that I want to visit your home or anything. <laughs> uh, she's so sundere. Okay. Uh, we have to reply with, I don't have a key. Use the one hidden in the switchboard next to the door. Okay. Next. I found the key easily enough. Uh, don't you think your security should be tighter? Should have, uh, oh, should have thought about that before picking a fight with CERN, lol. Uh, also, what's this frog that's been, uh, left with the key? Someone's bad taste? Only a maniac would put something that gross there. Actually, it scared the crap out of me, but keep that a secret, lol, okay. 
<laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. Um, so the next we have to answer with frog. Uh, oh no, we don't. Nope. That that will give us a ending. That that that'll give us an achievement we don't want. What we want is uh, to reply with home. Uh? Never mind. We want to reply <laughs> with. Wait a minute. Oh wait, no. Oh no 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 no. That's the right one. No! Oh, yeah, no, I did almost- No, 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 I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm super wrong. Uh, no. We have to do... Security. Yeah, I almost beefed that up. Okay. You're right. I was careless. I should have known better. Okay. Interesting. It's so weird that we missed just a couple of things in the very beginning. That th This would have been, I feel like, a lot more interesting of a story all the way through if we would have gotten some of these along the way. But anyway, so we got that. I should get in touch with her. In touch with whom? Uh, it's hard to know when we're speeding through everything. Oh, right! Oh, right! Okay, this is where we could meet with Faris or we could meet with somebody else, right? And I chose to call Faris now because this this came up and what happens if we don't do that I'm curious I, I wonder what would happen uh, okay we'll do it for now we'll do it for now we'll do what we did the first time so she doesn't answer uh, he'll know where she is yeah and I'm sure I called him because at this point we would have had all the little things so we called him yeah and then he said I can't let you in maybe I should try calling Faris again and I'm sure I did that Male assistant. Right, okay. You're delusional, I know. Are you seriously considering electronic locks and card keys? Who has that kind of money? You're being ridiculous as usual. You need to face reality for a change. Alright, and so then we have to do uh, reality. Uh, and that will get us the third flag that we need. All right, I'll tell you the truth, but keep it secret. CERN is after us. I need your help. Oh, interesting. So he's telling her throughout this whole thing. Okay. All right, let me get a mail. Reality. I can't tell if this is true or just more of your usual BS. Okabe, this is a serious situation. You're turning into the boy who cried wolf. So only tell me the truth from now on, please. Uh, except it is the truth. <laughs> okay. So that was our third flag that we should have picked up there. Let me get chased down. Right, okay, then we get something from Daru. Uh, I answered it the first time, so we'll do it this time as well. Uh, we answered Kuritsu, so we'll answer her again. Uh, I'm sorry Forrest lied to you, and so... Yep, and then we have to we have to send the D mail to go further. Uh, but then we will load this back up, and then we'll go see what the other stuff we could have done was. Right. So then that's Kuritsu. Don't have a key. And then when we get this one, uh, then we answer with Frog, so that we can get that achievement. Oh wait, wait a minute. Let's uh. Hold on, let's save real quick. That's, uh, Ghetto Froggy. That thing's popularity exploded last year. I'm sure the organization was involved. Get another one. Yeah, and then we have Ghetto Froggy. Had too much pizza. Whoa. What? <laughs> That's a weird reply that she would send back. Um, oh, so she has an attachment. Eh! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Look at him. Oh, that's what she was saying, had too much pizza, and then she was laughing at the picture. Okay. That's funny. Okay, so then we have to reload the save from here. So then, instead of answering with, I don't have a key, we answer with home. Quit it. My room is a dead sea. Take one step inside, and it's too late. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, home. I bet your room's a mess. The lab's a mess too because of you boys. Not that I'm any better when I'm focused on my research, lol. Uh, I'll bring some deodorant spray next time. 
then I'll uh, whip I'll whip this filth from the face of the earth. Haya. Okay. So then we're supposed to answer with Haya to this message, which is you're not even trying to hide your at channel or power level anymore, are you? That's funny. Okay. Now here's the thing I'm curious about. What if I don't get in touch with Faris? Let's try that just to see what happens. First, let's try contacting her by phone or mail. Meeting face to face would be best, but May Queen doesn't exist on this world line, meaning I'd have to go to that high class apartment complex. I should try contacting Faris first. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. It just forces us to do it. Daru, what if. Okay, so if I don't ask Daru. Daru. If anyone knows where Faris is, it'll be that stalker of hers. Oh, nope, still does it the same. Okay, does it for me. All right, so then we have to reply. Let's see. Go, 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 go. I learned I'm going to give it to you straight from at channel. I don't know the source. All I know is that it's got weird art. <laughs> we weird art, you say? I have to know what that means. Now, you Okay tick me off <laughs> um all right so we're supposed to reply with i'm gonna give it to you straight as sure as soda makes you burp okay okay blazing heat memeta <laughs> or memeta maybe there he is <laughs> ew look at him Okay, so that should have gotten me something, but I probably missed something earlier on, and uh, so it didn't work. But uh, that's alright. So, other than that, let's skip ahead to when we're running and see what happens when we don't answer Daru when he calls. And Kuretsu, on top of that. All we can do is run. A phone call? Now? There's no way I can pick up now! I ignore the call and run even faster. Okay, yep, just ignored it, that's all. So I was glad we picked that up the first time. Uh, let's see, then we got the one from... Kuretsu. <laughs> Crap! Not now! The virals react to, to the ringtone. I press the end call button and shove the phone into my pocket. But it's too late. They already heard it. Hey! We found you! <laughs> you can't escape. With brass knuckles in hand, one of the men starts grinning, bearing his canines. We're suddenly driven to the wall. Darn it! Is this the end? It's over. We're done for. Oh no! 4C got run over by a car, Nia. Forrest shouts and points to the window. Wh what? For Cson! Forrest rushes recklessly at the bewildered men. Or so I thought, but she actually just slips between them. I follow. Oh, that's how we would have gotten out of it, okay. We race down the stairs at a breakneck pace. Nice faint, Forrest! However, you're not getting away. Get them. Crap. Okay, and I think it's the same from there, so. Okay. So that's the only difference. Interesting. So, we can load up the other save then. Right, okay, so now in chapter 8, we've only got a couple of different things here. All right, so there's not a whole lot of stuff that happens in this one. We get, yeah, okay, so we get a mail from Kuretsu. Explain yourself. Hey, what the heck was that just now? Uh, that was some loving hug. I'm seriously jealous. Uh, no, not about getting hugged by you, but about having someone of the opposite sex to lovingly hug. Don't misunderstand me. Anyway, what was that about? <laughs> okay, um... So... So that, yeah, because that was, she just witnessed us hug, 
That's right. And so, so in, in the route that I initially took, because I didn't get some of these other flags, she didn't say anything about that. Uh, but because we have somewhat of a relationship with her because of those flags that we met, now she's jealous. Okay. That's cute. Okay, so we'll just reply with, what was that? Don't worry about it. It was just something I had to do. Let me get mail. Lies. Darn it, even though all you do to me is sexual harassment. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. So, I think that was the, the fourth true f ending flag that we just got there. So, the rest of this we can just pretty much run through, I'm thinking. Right, okay, so this is an area where we, we call the phone wave, and I'm sure I would have just called the phone wave, yes. Oh, okay, but we do get a little thing with uh, Kuritsu here, so we'll see that. Well, you tripped a romance flag, so... Oh, here's the romance flag thing, okay, this might have more depth now, now that we've hit some of those other... Oh, hey, yeah, the, the guide calls it a flag. It's a flag for her, apparently, too. That's funny. I like that. Okay. Hmm. Kuritsu ponders this for a while. Ah! Uh. Then she blushes for some reason and turns away. But by the way, Okabe, is there someone you like? Ha <laughs> Uh... Why aren't you answering? Not really. For a second, Mayuri's face floated through my mind. Aw. But I feel more of a need to protect her, rather than romantic love for her. Oh. Okay. Aw. Why do you ask? Uh... No, just wondering. There's no hidden meaning, okay? Why are you mad? Also, your face is red. <laughs> it's not! A anyway, you should go out with Urushibara-san. Seriously? Y you don't like anyone else, right? Then answer her feelings, you dummy. What did I do to deserve this name-calling? Mayuri dies in two days. I don't have time to play boyfriend. Suddenly, Kuritsu's expression turns grave. Okay, I think now we're back on the other thing. Only consider this as a last resort. Yup, okay. Yup, so that was just a little love thing that we had with uh, Kuritsu. Uh, oh, assistant, okay. Okay, so this must be the last one that we get from her here this must give us the fourth true ending flag okay from an unpopular girl i don't really care if you get yourself a girlfriend but don't forget about the time leap machine this thing is serious we need to get everyone together and decide what to do with it i understand you're doing this for mayuri's sake just remember there's more to this than just urushibara san to be honest i'm still Afraid of this monster I've created. I'd feel better if we could talk about it. Interesting. Okay. Yep, here it is. Then we call. Uh. Uh, wait. Uh, phone wave. Still. Will Mayeri really die on the 15th? Okay, so if we do nothing, uh, then Daru will be there. Okay. Will Mayeti really die on the 15th? I don't have solid proof. Maybe there is no pattern, and it's just in my head. Maybe Mayeti dies today. Maybe she dies tomorrow. What I want more than anything is for that never to happen. What happens to Mayeti on this world line? I mustn't let my guard down. Not until the IBN 5100 is back in my possession. At the same time, however, I want to know what happens to Mayuri on this world line. There's still a chance, however small, that she won't die. No, 
Don't hesitate. Hesitation could lead to an irreparable mistake. I don't want to see Mayuri die again. To see the light fade from her eyes. It's too painful. So I won't confirm Mayuri's death. I don't want to. All I can do is assume the worst. Retrieving the IBM 5100 is the only sure way to prevent her death. I must not rest until then. I need to time leap now. I can always time leap later. I put away my phone and take a deep breath. I don't want to sacrifice anyone else. I know it's unreasonable, but I want to hope that nothing will happen on this world line. A foolish dream, perhaps, but still. Nothing happens on the 14th. Moika's group doesn't appear at the lab, and Mayuri doesn't get involved in any accidents. So far, so good. The problem is tomorrow. The time is 7.30 p.m. My preparations are complete. The time leap machine is set. Mode Snake is primed, and the remote control for the TV downstairs is ready. It's all second nature to me now. Kamema started today, so Mayuri's been in Ariake since this morning. I told Daru not to come to the lab today, but to keep an eye on Mayuri instead. So even if Moika's group shows up here, they have a low chance of killing Mayuri. Will the rounders come on this world line? We'll soon find out. 7.35. The door isn't kicked open. Instead, my phone rings. It's Daru. Oh shoot, okay, I want to save this right here. Okay, so we'll answer first. Hello? Daru? <sighs> Something's wrong. Hey, what happened? Daru? I'm s- uh, Some guys came out of nowhere. They took Mayushi. I think they wanted me. I ran, but Mayushi... What do I do, Okarin? It's the Rounders. They kidnapped her. And then they probably killed her. To them, Mayuri is expendable. I grind my teeth in frustration. It didn't work. I still haven't averted Mayuri's death. I toss Mode Snake onto the couch. The preparations were a waste. Mayuri died somewhere else. I hang up and walk to the development room. I won't let you kill Mayuri! And so once more, I send my memories to the past. Okay, so let's not answer. My phone rings. It's Daru. Oh, okay. He just answers. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. All right. Well, there we go.